Hello everyone, my name is Tim Wing, and in this video I'd like to show you how to edit a snowy photo, especially this one right here. Uh, notice that there is a raw in front of the uh, photo that indicates that this is a raw photo, which uh, retain a lot of data when you uh, take the picture. So the other photo without the raw uh, icon, meaning it's just a JPEG photo. Here, uh, since it's a landscape photo, I like to uh, crop it to 16 by 9 which is a, um, a wide format popular with landscape photos and I'm gonna try to align this so that uh, I get a perfect somewhere around right here perfect rule of third what I mean by rule of third is I um, you see this outline basically what you want is to have all the icons here and we want to put your subject in the middle of this intersection so my subject is this branch here and I want to have this branch somewhere right here so the, the, the branch here which is the main focus I want to have it somewhere below uh, touching this uh, intersection which is uh, that's what you call uh, a rule of third but you can read it up online so let's try that again somewhere right there see how about that just for a uh, the purpose of explaining rule of third, I'm gonna try to put that branch, which is right here, where the intersection is. So that it looks uh, it looks a lot better now. I don't touch preset because I will go straight to edit. That's where I do all the manual uh, uh, editing. So we're gonna skip black and white. The main focus is to whiten this guy up because I did not when I take these pictures. Uh, when you take snow pictures, uh, winter pictures, you have to make sure that you have to set your exposure to plus one or more to get the the, the, the snow white or it will just look uh, dim like this or blue. So to get the white balance right, I'm going to use this selector and I'm going to select a place where it's white or gray. So right here, that should be fine. Let's go look for another place where... so. This place to be the best. We're gonna skip temperature, tint, and I don't even go to auto tone, but you can just click it to see what it looks like. So auto tone did a perfect job on making the color pop. So the white is white. So let's turn that off and turn it back on. So now I want to show you how to manually do this. So we're gonna turn auto tone off. But if you are not comfortable with manual editing, you can turn auto tone on to see if you like it. It, it will not work with every pictures, only some. So let's go to exposure. Here you can actually slide it to the right to get the exposure that you like. Um, just keep sliding until you like the color that you see. Okay, so now we are at uh, highlight and shadow. Now this is a combination of uh, how I edit my landscape. I will drag my shadow to the right to get that little pop out of the um, darkness. So which means that I will to increase it to the right, it's just um, uh, remove some of those dark spots in your area. So as you can see, if you go negative, the branch actually will go black, right? Now you want it to go to, to pop, so I would move it the other way. I would just, I would actually go to 100. Usually with my landscape photo, I usually just start off with 100. And then uh, for highlight, I usually go all the way down to like um, negative 100 just to test it out. Now what highlight would do is, all the really uh, bright exposure like overexposure you can actually dim it down so that you can see more for example if there were sunlight in here you if you move the highlight all the way down um, the sun will actually pop out and you can see it more basically it removes all the uh, overexposure so we're gonna go with negative 100 for now now for the white balance since you have since we are manually doing this with highlight and shadow, we want to bring back some white, right? So let's keep going. Now, if you guys are wondering, I'm doing this on an iPad Pro 12.9, just to uh, switch up, uh, switch it up a little bit, because I used to edit this in um, Lightroom on a Mac. But I want to play with the uh, Lightroom in iPad, just to see. So as you notice, when I keep going to the right. Look at the. <coughs> Sorry, um, kind of lost my voice because I'm not feeling really well. So right about there, you can see 
I stopped there because the white is enough uh, for me uh, and not to over, overdo it. So this is too much white. So lower it down until you can see the, pe the, the, the pictures. Uh, right about there is what I like. Black, now for black you would go the other way to bring back the black. So as you can see here, if, you, if the picture is not um, showing you the preview uh, right away, you just hover over the, the line so that you can see the preview. So you keep moving, that looks really good. Now this is all the way black, which is not what we want. We want to have some darkness, but also not too much. I would go right around there. I'm very indecisive. So at this kind of thing, it's very hard. It's extra hard for me to do. But at the end, I know that it's as perfect as I can get it. So that's for the black. Now clarity, I don't play with clarity when I deal with landscape. Frankly, because I like the original look. Clarity would just uh, make the image more pop, pop out. Like it's a little fake. So let me show you why. See, if I do that, the image is just too much out there and if I just oh, double click on the same uh, line would reset back so I like the the blurry uh, clarity seems to uh, sharpen the pictures which is not what I want now for vibrant I'm gonna play with this because I want that branch to pop out a little bit more as you can see there that if we move if we uh, have vibrance up so much uh, a little noise actually comes out uh, from the picture and noise are actually just uh, think of it as uh, pic uh, pixelation I don't know if that's a word uh, it's pixelated so when you see noise um, that's usually it's bad if I go back to original nothing has changed so I know that uh, uh, I like to keep this as as is saturation this might make the the picture pop even more oh that's see that's too much so that you go you dial it down I'm looking at the branches right now. That's too much orange. Uh, we want to go with uh, something that pop, but doesn't look fake. So that branch looks a little, um, maybe a little bit more orange. Well, that's, that's too much orange. So we dial it down a little by little. So right about there, it looks kind, it looks realistic and not too um, saturated. Now, if you use three fingers, which is what I'm doing right now, we are uh, showing the before and after. So this is before and this is after. So uh, let's go back to um, the, the, the first one where we have this, this auto tone off, right? We had it on and I want to know if my manual editing is actually better than the, the auto tone that it provides. So look at this for a minute. I'm going to turn this on and auto tone seems to uh, dial down the, the color of the branch. So now it's more brown and everything else seems uh, dull, right? In the beginning, we thought it was a good picture, but it's actually not. So uh, manual editing is actually a good idea if, if you're not in a hurry. But if you're in a hurry, just, just go in Lightroom and just uh, check on auto tone and see what, uh, what's happening. So this is just manual editing without auto tone. So now we can click on, remember to click on the check mark on the top right to save our edits. And now we have it here. Let me show you how we uh, move this to our photo app. Basically, you would go and uh, well, oh, using the share button and you uh, save to camera roll, but we're gonna make it so that I don't want any caption or camera raw info, you know, let's keep it, keep it for now. Uh, sh okay, share with metadata. Now let's save to, we wanna click on maximum available. We wanna have the size to be the same as we uh, as we are editing because you know our memory is cheap so just save maximum available and right now it's saving to photo now let's go to photo app so here we see our photo so here is a good another good thing is you can see the before and after stay tuned for another episode of um, more photo editing with Lightroom on iPad